I'm Zachary Fowler, and uh, we're doing uh, EDC Pocket Dump and my everyday carry. People have been asking for it, and I haven't had time to film something, so I thought I'd just do it live right here, right now. Let's see if that's a good angle. I can show you the stuff and lay it out right here. And of course, my first everyday carry is my Yoda mug. Or I mean, not Yoda. Wow. So much for a Star Wars fan, huh? My, my Star Wow. Okay, anyways, that's my coffee mug. Around the house, that's my everyday carry. R2-D2, C-3PO, whatever. Uh, so first and foremost, always, my Torque Slingshot lately has been my everyday carry with latex bands, Warrior Pouch, right there. I love these things, laminated pouch. I use them for my speed shooting, use them for everything. Hey guys, thanks for coming in, watching. So the everyday carry slingshot. First thing, always put it in my pocket first thing every morning. Um, and then I got the uh, the old Sharpie, with, uh, especially with gaffer tape wrapped around it. You never know when you're going to need a piece of gaffer tape. So I'm always busting that out. Um, very useful. I'm always refilling this. I use this up probably every two days, that little bit of gaffer tape. And you never know when I'm going to need to sign an autograph. <laughs> so there we go. There's that. And uh, so we get into the knives. I know that's what a lot of people want to see. Boom. The Ultimate Hunter from Cold Steel. Now they sent me $2,000 worth of knives. I'm going to make a video on that in a little bit. Maybe next week or the week after. And out of the $2,000 worth of knives, machetes, all the junk that was there, the Ultimate Hunter was my favorite. This has got that, like, I don't know what they call that, that Kydex or something like that. Hardcore. I mean, this thing is, is rugged, tough. Feels good in your hands. It's got this nice little dimple. Um, I don't carry a sheath knife. I like having a clip knife to go on your pocket, clipping in, and then to be able to pop it out and flip it open. And this one's the heaviest clip-on knife I've ever owned. And I'm not dissatisfied. I love it. Um, nice thing about Cold Steel is they all come with these. You could put it for right-handed or left-handed person or le right or left pocket, the clips. You can adjust it. So there is the Ultimate Hunter. I, I love it. It's my it's my favorite knife I've ever um, had that, that was a clip knife, you know. Um, and then, oh, I'll save that one for a minute later. Here, we showed you that. Uh, so I got some weird stuff, you know, some weird everyday carries. I always carry a flosser. I, I hate stuff getting my stuck in my teeth. I love to eat uh, beef jerky, and I always seem to get one. There's one spot in the back. Something always gets stuck there. Out in Patagonia, I actually had to make my own flossers. I used the uh, paracord, you strip down the inner fibers, and then the, but the paracord's frayish and it would get stuck in your teeth. And uh, and then you'd have to get that out with another piece of paracord. So it was like a never ending cycle. And then I always carry a wipe, you know, to wipe the lens of my phone. You know, so I like wipe the lens of the phone there or uh, the camera wipes. And uh, it also has served a couple times I've had to use it on the kids and then throw it away afterwards or put it in the washing machine because you know, it's, it's just a nice thing to have a little a lens wipe. Um, and then, just a pair of Amazon orange headphones. Orange, always orange. Love the orange. Orange headphones. Uh, I love to listen to my audiobooks. I'm filming this on, or doing this live with the uh, Samsung Galaxy 8 Plus. I love this phone because I can take video clips when I'm out and about if I don't have my camera and there's something I gotta capture and it looks really sharp. It still looks really good and so I listen to a lot of audiobooks while I'm out playing and building things and uh, that's so I gotta have the headphones. You never know when you get stuck in a doctor's office and you need the headphones. So and what else do we got here? Let me get into let's see oh to go with the slingshot uh, I won't take it off I'll show it to you guys and then I'll take it off. So I got this little pouch that I made that fits right onto the belt. You can't even tell that it's there you can't even see it. It barely, you can see just a little lump. This is my little slingshot ammo pouch. And it holds, how many pieces does it hold? I don't know. It holds a good number of ammo. Half inch steel. I love to shoot a couple shots here and there whenever I'm out in the wild, um, in the bush, in playing. You know, if the girls and I are at the beach and I see a coffee cup down the other end of the beach, you know, 100 feet away, I like, boom, take two or three shots and bam, nail it. It's fun. I love, it means that uh, you don't just practice at the shooting range all the time in my, that shooting range I got in the kitchen. Hello, hello. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you're leaving comments and you like this, 
uh, leave comments after in the uh, the replay so that I can uh, get back to them. I'm not gonna be able to get to all your comments live. I'm just going over. And so one of the pieces of ammo I like to carry sometimes is just a, a pink one. Just as a reminder of my time in Patagonia, I brought those pink ammo and I never ended up using them. Uh, and then if you notice my ammo, you see how there's two, see how one's shiny and one's not shiny? This one's not shiny. I have been some of the shiny, I'm getting rid of all my shiny ones and I got a rock tumbler and I tumble my ammo so that it uh, takes the tarnish off of them. And uh, I was hoping that would help me get a match light so it's a little rougher and it's, it's easier to hold them in my fingers with my speed shooting when I'm quickly loading and stuff. They don't slide out. They're not as smarmy as a nice shiny one, which, uh, which are pretty cool, but not, uh, but I found that this taking the tarnish off helps. Um, so, but this, I'll show you how this belt pouch looks up close. It's kind of ratty looking because I wasn't sure how the idea would work out, but it's got a magnetic catch. Boink. And it's, it's fairly small. You can see it's really tiny, but it fits right on the belt. And I made it out of the soft leather and it's supple. So it, it conforms right to your side. The ammo stays in the pouch because of it. I mean, like you could literally turn it upside down and it doesn't pop out because just the way the pouch is kind of molded and stuff. It's uh, and then you can see I can fit. I think there's, there's probably like 18 shots in there right now and I could fit more. So it goes very easily onto my belt. You can't even tell that I'm wearing it 90% of the time. I've worn it accidentally through the plane scanner at the scanner at the airport and like threw it in the bin and they didn't even care that I had slingshot ammo or think anything all that weird of it. And for my second everyday carry knife, always have had this. If you've seen Mick Fowler, you haven't seen Mick Fowler, you gotta see that in my older YouTube video. Oh, okay, it's a month old. But uh, where I use this to unlock a car, I do everything. This specifically is the one of the most important tools in my everyday carry because my old boss ties horrible knots. And with this, uh, this corkscrew, you can take an, a knot that won't come undone, whether it's webbing or anything. You take this and you screw this into the knot and you pull the knot apart. It, you don't, no more, I mean, people are always taking an, a screwdriver and you're digging at a, a bound up knot or a bound up something, you know, a tow hitch. You know, that's what he would do. We'd pull a boat and he'd tow hitch it and he'd, and it would lock up because you don't, if you don't tie the right knot, the knot locks up and you can't get it apart. A proper knot, you bend it in the right spot and the breaker bar in the knot comes undone. Well, with this, I can get any knot undone almost effortlessly. You screw it into the knot in the right spot, pull a little bit, screw it in on the other side, pull and boom. The, the sloppy knot, the, the granny knot your friend tied in the rope comes undone magically or even a good knot that's been in there for three years on a tree swing or something, you know, you want to undo it and shorten it up or something. This does the job. Um, this is the one that has the knife, the uh, can opener screwdriver, or the can opener, and the file and the scissors. I used to use the file a lot when I played a lot of pool back in the day. You could use that to rough the head up of your pool's cue so it takes some chalk. Um, I love the scissors. These are the these cool the cool scissors there where they have the see if you can actually see it they have a little bit of serration on them and I especially use these scissors uh, when it comes to cutting my slingshot bands every time I make a set of slingshot bands I I snip the uh, tail end of the tie offs on that and uh, oh and I uh, bought multiple uh, toothpicks for this one so that and as time goes on uh, I can always replace them when I use them for something. Sometimes that because I sometimes when I'm out and about, I don't just use this as a toothpick. Sometimes you need a tiny wedge for some sort of a process or something to repair something. Like uh, I was out in a boat back in the day and I'm like trying to repair this one screw and I have nothing with me except for my Swiss Army knife and this. I use the Swiss Army knife to take the screw out, jam that in there and jam the screw back in and that way I didn't have to paddle all the way back to shore and get the proper tools for the job. I, I made it work. and these became the proper tools for the job. Um, and I saved the customer time because I wasn't riding all around. And so the last of my everyday kit is the wallet. This is like a very important part of any man's kit. I love having the chain. Um, somebody was saying, oh, that's dorky the other day. I don't know why they said that. They were kind of a weird person, but uh, the chain, because I like to ride my motorcycle. And when I ride my bike, 
I, I don't want to lose it off down the road and be like, oh, where's my wallet? And uh, so I always know where it is. In here is, like every good man, there is a pile of receipts that I have not organized, a huge pile of receipts. And then there's all these little bits of little slingshot uh, strips of stuff that I use to tie on. So if I'm out and about and the slingshot, my torque here, um, loses the band or it rips, I can take my uh, tools, snip it down, and either retie on the pouch. That's what those little ties are right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So the, it's tied on with the little scraps of elastic, which I always carry with me. And uh, so I use those, and who knows what else. I mean, it's, I even had to do a, the girls were in a mess. I, boom, boom, instant hair barrette. Um, they didn't like that very much, but uh, it worked. And they weren't complaining about the hair in her eyes. And then inside the wallet here is two survival cards from Grimm, which I find the most valuable. Um, I picked this one. I have never used it, but I've always wanted to be in a situation where like, I need to save the day. And I bust out the last pit lock pick. So I'm going to start practicing with this one and, and then have to reload the wallet with one that's not snapped apart. And then the fishing hooks. Um, I mean, who in the world? I mean, I got the Wazoo. Oh, I almost forgot the Wazoo survival bracelet. That's part of my kit. It's so much part of my kit. It's like, it's a part of me. I don't even think about it anymore. But this, I thought, keeping this in my wallet, if I'm ever stuck at the beach for four hours, boom, there it is. I got my survival card and uh, it's right there in the wallet because I always have my wallet with me. It fits right in there with the rest of your cards. You know, it's just like, boom, boom, you got that. And then you got your credit card and you're good to go. And your driver's license. And, uh, and of course the pile of receipts that I still haven't emptied out of here. And uh, is there anything else unique I keep in here? There used to be a dental floss, um, a dental floss credit card thing that I got from the dentist and I used that up. And uh, eh, there's not much else in here except for business cards and the usual stuff. And uh, a cheat sheet so I can figure out what my address is when I'm out and about without uh, too much difficulty. I have such a hard time holding certain things in my mind. And then the Wazoo Survival Bracelet, of course, which I sell on my website, shameless plug, um, which has a fire starter. This thing is so cool. It's got a whistle. It's got, an, that's an antibiotic packet right there. And also a fire starter. You take that out, fluff that up. One little spark from this thing, good to go. There's a little mirror on there, just in case I need to check my beard and do a little bit. No, it's not for grooming out and about. A ceramic knife. This. Wazoo survival bracelet goes with me on the plane every time. They don't care. They let it go through every single time. Inside of here is a saw, the paracord, the slingshot tubing. It's made out of two straws that keep the saw and the fishing line and two hooks in here from getting rusty. And that's why I like to keep the, the card here. If I have a chance, I could uh, use some trash bags and make some fishing line and do some fishing down at the beach while I'm stuck in town for some reason. Maybe the tire needs to be repaired or the muffler falls off the truck because I run in an old truck and uh, so the good combination of all your gear it's kind of like useful 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 and then uh, I think this is the last piece of my kit which is the uh, wazoo fire necklace which I also sell on the website thing is awesome simple tiny super uh, super efficient it just it's there you never notice it. it goes on the plane with you they never take it away from me and uh, this one really even compared to the bracelet can throw off a pile of sparks like you wouldn't believe. So easy to start fires with these things. Um, and uh, pretty much all of this stuff will be forever part of my kit. I mean, I really, this is all gear that I wholly endorse. And um, I mean, these are just Panasonic headphones for 12 bucks. So I don't, I don't know that I wholly endorse that in, in any way, but the Simple Shot Torque. So it's like been my favorite now for about a month and um, I like the ocularis slingshots But this thing is so Comfortable in the hand and uh, not with the bands they come with it But and these warrior pouches which are uh, a kangaroo leather so resistant the last one broke down on me during the pumpkin shoot the other day But that was almost two months of shooting with this pouch that kangaroo leather is so and then it was like I put about 400 uh, pieces of ammo threw it into the pumpkin in a matter of like 30 minutes just like bam 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 and destroying so if you haven't seen that video skip back and um, if I, I'm not replying to your comments because we're just getting this done so if you have comments or questions about the gear leave it in the 
uh, the replay. Go back as soon as I hit end, come back five minutes later and hit it in the replay and leave your questions and comments about the gear. And leave me your favorite piece of gear. Everybody put down in the comments below uh, in the replay your favorite piece of gear and uh, what your favorite, uh, maybe your favorite knife, what's your favorite piece of weird, actually even better, your favorite piece of weird gear in the comments below in the replay. So come back later this evening when you're out of work or whatever, and leave it in the comments below. And so I think that's pretty much it. Let me check all my pockets and of course the hat. Always and right now I'm rocking this um, Lucid skis. Um, I ran into the guy and he said he liked he, he liked me on the show and stuff and he gave me a hat at the um, I was at this outdoors event for the kids and I just love the way this hat looks. It just looks so cool and uh, the he gave me the hat and they make these amazing skis made out of wood from Maine woods laminated like and it looks like this underneath them you know like some ash and some oak and so it's such beautiful skis. So I always kind of rock a hat. I never used to, but uh, now I do. I, ever since I started wearing like two or three years ago, my orange beanie all the time. So I think that's pretty much it. Is there any other unique kit? I mean, when I'm out in the woods, um, I'm always rocking my shovel and my multi-tool. I don't carry the multi-tool on an everyday basis. I don't really care for that big pouch. And uh, do I have it right here? Uh, well, just like I was talking about that camera, if I'm out and I'm going to be filming or vlogging, I always have the Canon um, G7X Mark II that I use. It's got really good low light and, and stuff. I think that's downstairs because I was using it for where I shoot the slingshot. So if I'm just going out with a little bit of, just a little bit of kit, it's always the Canon G7X. So, <whistles> tape, toothpicks. Coffee cup if you're at home. And I think that's it for me. Leave it in the comments below what your favorite piece of weird kit is that you might carry on your belt. And I will see you next time. Fowler out. Somehow. Finish.